Bobcat compact wheel loaders and small articulated loaders will help you get the job done safely and efficiently whether you're digging, leveling, or loading materials. To avoid injuring yourself or others or damaging your machine, familiarize yourself with the instructions in this video, your machine's operation and maintenance manual, an operator's handbook, and the Association of Equipment Manufacturers Safety Manual before using a Bobcat small articulated loader or the compact wheel loader. You will see the safety alert symbol throughout the operation and maintenance manual in the operator's handbook and on pictorial safety signs. This identifies important hazards you should avoid to reduce the possibility of serious injury or death. Always follow the instructions in the safety message. While it is impossible to cover every situation you may encounter during operation, this video presents several topics including safety features, slope operation, job site management, and additional training resources. Your Bobcat articulated wheel loader was designed with safety in mind, but safety also depends on you. As with any piece of equipment, always be aware of your surroundings while operating your machine. Wear appropriate clothing, including long pants and closed-toed shoes. Check local regulations in your job site for PPE requirements such as hard hats, safety glasses, and hearing protection. Loose clothing or jewelry can get tangled in moving parts and should be avoided. Put up long hair. If operating in low-light conditions, utilize the loader lights. Do not operate if you're experiencing drowsiness or under the influence of alcohol or drugs that may affect your judgment or reaction time. Always perform the pre-start inspection before operating your machine. An inspection should also be performed every time there is a change of operators. First, check your surroundings for any bystanders in the area. If anyone enters the job site while you are operating the loader, stop the loader and wait for them to leave before continuing operation. Do not allow anyone to ride inside or on top of the loader or any attachments. Remember, a Bobcat articulated wheel loader is strictly a one-person machine. Inspect your work area. If your machine is in an enclosed environment, make sure there is proper ventilation to the outside to reduce accumulation of dust, debris, and fumes. Check for job site hazards and for surface conditions. Additionally, make sure the ground has been prepared for your job. Dial 811 if operating in the United States or call 888-258-0808 in Canada before you dig. Your loader is equipped with a rollover protective structure or ROPS and a falling object protective structure or FOPS. The ROPS and FOPS help protect the operator in the event of a rollover or from falling objects and should never be removed or modified. In case of an emergency, all cabs are equipped with a secondary exit. Before entering your loader, inspect your ROPS and FOPS for damage. Be advised of available equipment or accessories for your particular machine or job application, such as pallet forks, a rear view camera kit, and fire extinguisher kit. Your Bobcat loader is equipped with a backup alarm that must sound when operating in reverse and may be equipped with a rear view camera and display. The backup alarm and rear view camera system are not a substitute for keeping bystanders away from the work area. Operators must remain fully aware of their surroundings using direct visibility in the rear view camera system and mirrors if equipped. The backup alarm and rear view camera systems must be maintained to ensure proper functionality. Familiarize yourself with the safety signs on your loader and replace any that are damaged or missing. Ensure that the tires are properly inflated and replace them if necessary. Examine the loader and attachments for any damage, debris, or modifications. Only use approved attachments. Check the condition of the seatbelt, operator interlock control system, backup alarm, and rear view camera if equipped. Perform the rest of your daily inspection using the checklist included inside the rear cover of the loader or in your operation and maintenance manual. Safe operation of your articulated wheel loader starts with you, the operator. When entering or exiting the loader, maintain three points of contact by utilizing the grab handles and steps. Once inside and seated, adjust the seat so you can comfortably reach all controls and see your surroundings. Fasten the seatbelt securely. Before starting the engine, ensure the travel direction control is in the neutral position and that the parking brake is engaged. To begin operating your loader, start the engine. 
Never attempt to start the engine or operate the machine's controls from outside the operator station as the lift arms, attachment, or the loader itself could move. Your loader is equipped with an Operator Interlock Control System, or OICS, which deactivates the auxiliary hydraulics and drive functions. The OICS in a small articulated loader requires you to lower the armrest and press the operate switch before operating. To operate a compact wheel loader, you must remain in the operator seat. Once the engine is started, familiarize yourself with the operation of the loader and its controls. In a compact wheel loader, a joystick with a travel direction switch controls forward and backward movement. The loader's drive and brake pedals increase and decrease travel speed. In a small articulated loader, the forward and backward movements are controlled by the travel control pedals. To stop the loader, lift your foot from the pedals. Although some controls may vary from model to model, the best way to operate your loader is to move the controls smoothly. The loader will react the moment you activate the controls. The further the controls are moved, the faster the operation will be performed. Do not make any sudden stops, starts, or turns. There are additional controls that operate the hydraulic system to operate angle brooms, snow blowers, and other attachments. Review the operation and maintenance manual and the operator's handbook, which is tethered to its storage location, for additional information on controls. All loaders have a parking brake. Familiarize yourself with the location of the parking brake switch and its function. Only disengage the parking brake after machine startup and engage the switch whenever the machine is not in use. Be sure to choose the appropriate attachment by reviewing the Articulated Loader's Rated Operating Capacity, or ROC. The loader's ROC must not be exceeded. Overloading could cause your machine to become damaged or to temp, resulting in serious injury or death. This information can be found in the operator's handbook and in both the machine and attachment operation and maintenance manuals. After connecting approved attachments, ensure the bobtatch levers are completely down. Once connected, tilt the attachment forward to visually confirm that the wedges are through the attachment mounting frame holes. Carry loads as low as possible and operate your attachment within the guidelines provided in the attachment's operation and maintenance manual. Stay away from the articulation joint area. Never allow anyone to reach or stand under raised lift arms. If the machine loses power, you can lower the lift arms using the lift arm bypass control. Use caution and reduce speed on slopes and be aware of ground conditions. Keep movement slow and gradual. Drive straight up or down slopes, never across, and keep the heavy end of the loader uphill. With no load, the rear of the loader is heavier. Avoid starting and stopping, and do not turn on slopes unless absolutely necessary. Do not operate the loader on steep inclines. Before exiting the loader, always lower the lift arms and retract the telescopic lift arm if equipped on your machine. Place the attachment flat on the ground and engage the parking brake. Set the joystick, travel direction control, and travel pedals to the neutral position. Stop the engine and remove the key from the ignition. In the small articulated loader, raise the armrest. Exit using three points of contact. When operating on a public road or highway, always follow local regulations. For example, a slow-moving vehicle emblem or use of the hazard flashers may be required. When transporting your loader, ensure you have the proper size truck, trailer, and ramps. Load or unload the machine with the heavy end uphill. Install the articulation lock bar. Use the tie-down points to chain the loader to the trailer. Always observe the rules, motor vehicle laws, and vehicle limit ordinances when transporting the loader. Regular maintenance of the loader promotes safe and efficient operation. Failure to maintain your machine will result in excessive wear and early failures. Before servicing your loader, ensure the lift arms are lowered, the telescopic lift arm is retracted, the articulation lock bar is installed, the engine is off, and the parking brake is engaged. If the lift arms must be left in a raised position for maintenance work, they must be supported by an approved lift arm support to prevent accidental lowering. Regularly check for and remove any built-up flammable debris, such as wood chips, grass, or hay from the machine, particularly in the engine compartment and around the exhaust to prevent fire hazards. Perform the rest of your daily inspection according to the service schedule decal included inside the rear cover of the loader.
maintenance procedures that are not addressed in the Operation and Maintenance Manual must be performed only by qualified Bobcat service personnel. Operators should be trained in the safety features and operation practices before using Bobcat articulated wheel loaders. It is essential that training be provided in a language the operator can understand and that they have opportunities to ask questions. Training should cover the key points discussed in this video. Operators should receive refresher training when covering new terrain, operating new equipment, or whenever deemed necessary. Always use your best judgment and be aware of your surroundings. Remember the safety instructions from this video and the operation and maintenance manual when operating your machine. These tips will help you get the most out of your Bobcat compact wheel and small articulated loaders and will allow you to stay safe while getting the job done. For additional information, technical specifications, or training resource information for all Bobcat equipment, contact your dealer or visit bobcat.com training.